Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today, and today we've had a very large box come. But incredibly, it was delivered to the right number, but in the wrong street. So they've actually, so um, I was talking to the uh, delivery guy yesterday, and he was saying it was, it was supposedly coming today. So it's waiting and waiting and waiting. So um, hopefully this is, well it's a quite a big box for what I'm, I'm expecting it for. So we're going to open this one up. It was a local pickup only. Um, but I managed to sway the, the seller to actually, uh, if I pay the extra, to get it shipped down. I mean, if we don't mind, it was quite a cheap one because nobody was really interested in it. Hey, what is this? Carpet. They've got some test carpet. Hey. And luckily it's bin day today as well. So. We have got a box, something that we don't get very often. Yeah. It is a Electrolux 302, um, quite a popular machine in the 70s actually. Um, you can see it does. What this is? That's an old, uh, we've got like an old uh, carpet tack there by the looks of it. So. We were expecting the delivery man to bring it, but he obviously didn't. It was come by the the um, the larger van because it has such a big box. Look at box. that fill out. That doesn't pop. It can go around here and then yeah. pull it open. So it is just. Oh, it's off colour. It's dirty. That's off dirt. That's off colour. All right. Well, it's dirt. It's off. So this is what you call a barn, a loft find. Um, I can't open it! Right. The back door don't want to sip and open. So there we have. So of course, I've been watching this one. So it's got the the ring. Is, it, is that paper? Is that a bit? Right. No. It's a bit. It's a bit. It takes. This comes off. Right. This just pulls off. Yeah, well, we'll leave that. It's fine because we can use it as it is for the minute. So it has got a paper bag in it, we'll probably uh, put a heifer bag in it. I think it's a Wizard of Nets that loves one. It may be. And, and put this in probably. Like a junior style bag to probably fit in here, that's fine. No, that's what probably the Nets are looks bad. Oh, it? So it is, so we've actually paid uh, 15... And Beckle's got some of these. About £15 with the machine. So, uh, like you say, we haven't had many... Um, so electrolux cylinder machines at all. So uh seeing this one turn up, it is original. The hose is in great condition. I think it does come with a the two holder. Hose? It comes with a two holder. So it comes with an original hose, no. which you don't see many of. It's an Adonal one. Yeah. It's not now there is, two at this the time is... when we did the video there was one going for about about hundred pounds. And it was one of two, so I don't know if that's the original cable. It might be. I'll have to go and check. It is. So it's got a silver cable Look, on it. this is blocked. Is it? And don't plug it in there. No, I'm blocking it. So this one. So this one was dated around um, the mid seventies. Um, it's a very popular machine. It does come out nice. Orange, 70s style orange. Yeah. It does come with a flip head, which is like what Hoover, I don't know who came out at first, but it's very similar to the 70s Hoover heads, isn't it? Carl? Oh, go, go and sit and turn it on. So we'll just Let's go out the wire. Let's see if this one uh, trips the electric out. A bit of a distance there. Yeah. Safe this way, mate. But this one's quite nice actually. Overall. It does that's running quite do you know that's quality there isn't it? That's that's seventies electric quality there. I've got some hard stuff in there. 
That's very good, isn't it? I'm quite, quite an impressive machine with them. Electrolux were like originally a Swedish made Swedish company, but you probably can't know this one was probably made in the UK at the Luton factory. Um, which sadly is gone now. Yeah, we're going to bang it a little bit. So I hope we can get that door in a minute. Bin men come tomorrow. Yeah, we'll leave that. That's fine where it is. So it's, it is a nice machine. Just going to be wiped off, really. I'm going to let this out a bit here. Probably a bit of a... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what was that dirt? Wasn't that sheep and errand what I got? Ah, right. Like mould. Yeah, I think it's over that. Yeah, that'd be alright. You've got some uh, weight for that for that. So it will keep up quite nice and clean at the end of the day, and it will be a nice vacuum. Um, just fancy. 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 Ah, yeah, but it runs all right then, doesn't it? That's because it's been in a damp dark loft for about 30 years or so. Uh, oops, that's a good over. So it is a nice machine. This would have been sold alongside the, I believe, the 500 models, the original 500 series. Um, Look! They were actually very similar. Oh yeah. I've got this. Oh yeah, so let's have a look at the bottom of the machine. We can get it open there and up. So it is a Z302 650 watt motor. I'm not too sure about dating this, but at the top um, I don't know the dates on this it's serial number. It might be, well, I'm not too sure of that. It is a nice machine, it will clean up like that's how it should be. And that's how it is, so we, well, I'm sure we can Just wipe this off. So what do you say now, Kyle? Bye for now, I'm being subscribed to back to Manny, and thank you very much for watching. And hopefully on the next video, this one will be looking a lot cleaner. Um, and probably have a bad upgrade while we're there as well. No, and then the clothes have that kind of All right. It's a good so, so thank you very much for watching. Bye.